What's up, guys? Freddy's562 with a quick haul. This is a couple books I picked up last weekend, this weekend, and during the weekday. Um, before I start that, though, I do want to give a shout-out to my boy, Oblivion, for uh, giving me the heads up on a on a show on Netflix called Dead Said. You guys, if you guys haven't checked it out, go and uh, give, it a, give it a look, man. That thing is freaking badass. If you guys like The Walking Dead and all zombie shows, this is a really, really good show. So, uh, Dead Said on Netflix. And uh, thanks a lot to Oblivion. Uh, go and give him a sub, check out his channel, man. Really cool guy. So, uh, with that being said, you guys, I did check out a couple of bookstores uh, over the weekend and last weekend and got a couple books. Uh, nothing major, but did find some nice covers. Uh, this is a really nice cover I found. Uh, Birds of Prey number nine. Nothing big with this book, but it is an art term cover. So, I couldn't leave it behind for the price. It's in mint condition. Nothing wrong with it. I did go to a store called Book Off in uh, Lakewood. And uh, found these books, man. I went through about seven, maybe more, um, equivalent to seven or more uh, long boxes. And they didn't find nothing big, but did get a couple books. Uh, they had some cheap stuff, like the clearance stuff, like all these for a dollar. So uh, this is a Teen Titan Spotlight on Starfire. Nothing big. I am a Starfire fan, so I picked this one up for a buck. Uh, nothing major on it. Nothing, uh, no dents or nothing, but the corners aren't as sharp as I wish they were. So I would say like a very fine on this to find. Um, found this Batman The Dark Knight. And I do want to thank uh, my bro, Soul Comics, for getting me into these Batman covers. Uh, I'm, I'm not really big on DC. I'm more of a Marvel fan. But uh, he's always talking about Batman. And I don't know, I figured I'd give it a try. I started looking, getting a little bit more into uh, DC books. Uh, found this book, which is probably the only key I did find this weekend. Uh, this is Detective Comics 647, the first appearance of uh, Stephanie Brown. Um, this book is in, I would say, a very fine near mint. has one small tick right here. I don't think you can see it that bad. It, it doesn't break color, but uh, really, 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 really nice cover, man, in uh, good condition. So uh, found this, uh, The Punisher. Warzone number one, and this is the die cast, die cast, the die cut cover where all this is cut out right here. Uh, it's a little bit harder to find than the regular cover. It doesn't mean it's worth a little any more than the other one, but uh, uh, really cool. I only saw a couple on eBay, so that was cool. I picked that one up, uh, and I want to thank my boy, the Doom One Forty Three, for turning me on to these uh, Neil Adam covers. I'm I'm not big on Neil Adam, uh, Neil Adams, but uh. Seeing his hauls, man, and all those beautiful books he gets, I did find, this is the first Neil Adams uh, I find in the wild. Um, after seeing his books, man, he finds all these beautiful books, like on the cheap. I did pay three bucks. This, was, this wasn't this was a dollar, but it's a clean book. There's uh, one or two uh, spine ticks. There's one right here, another one up here. You really can't see them, uh, but you can feel them when you touch them. But uh, the book's really, really nice, really good condition. I would say a... Uh, a fine to a very fine, maybe even, maybe even a, a near mint minus. But uh, it's a really, really nice, nice cover. The background just, it, it just, it's outstanding. The the colors that they put into these books. So uh, the Doom One Forty Three, thank you for uh, turning me to these covers and uh, just for watching your videos, man. If you guys ain't sub to them, go and check them out. The Doom One Forty Three always has those amazing hauls, you guys. And uh, these books are books I picked up from my. Maya LCS, uh, Black Hammer, which is a book that So Comics had been telling me to pick up. So I finally found a, co a copy of this and picked that up. Also picked up The New Warriors. Uh, I believe this is the first uh, the first time these guys are in a group and, uh, and on, their, on their own cover. So this is uh, issue one. And this is the first print. There's a second print. Uh, first print, it's worth a little bit more. Uh, book is in near mint condition. No spine ticks, no nothing. The corners could be a little bit sharper, I wish. But, you know, it's not bad. Not bad for the price. So, that's that. Also picked up Paper Girls number one. I do have a copy, but I don't open my copy. I got the the one from Midtown that came uh, autographed by um, Brian Kavon. So, I'm not going to open that book. So, I found this one, picked it up on the cheap. So, that's always a cool cover. Also picked up this one, the awesome slapstick. Um, anybody that's big on Deadpool and the Mercs for Money, uh, this is one of the characters. I believe this is his first appearance. I did try to do a little bit of research, and 
all I found that I guess his first appearance was uh, November 1992, which is uh, the date of his book. So I believe this is his first appearance of Slapstick. So in this book is in mint condition, you guys. Nothing wrong with it. No spine ticks, no nothing. And the corners are super sharp. So really, really cool cover. And it's yellow. Like I know a lot of people like the yellow covers. So really cool. Picked up Miss Marvel number 50. And this is a variant cover. Nothing big in this cover. Just looks really awesome. Does have a couple spine ticks. So I'll say like a fine. And um, finally found this Sleepwalker, which I know a lot of people were finding these books back in the days. I know they're not worth that much. It did come down in the price, but uh, for a cheap price, I'm not going to leave it behind. Really cool book. Really good condition. Besides the card in the back being bent, uh, there's really nothing wrong with the cover, man. It's really, really clean. So and this is the last book from that store. Uh, Daredevil uh, 185 really nice cover uh, it is beat up a couple spine ticks for the price i was not gonna leave it behind uh, i really like the, the the miller run on daredevil really cool book so last store i went i picked these books up mainly because of the cover this is a michael turner cover really nice cover really like the michael turner artwork on this uh, big uh, power girl fan so couldn't leave that behind i also picked up this uh, dark range miss marvel uh really cool art on this really like the deadpool and the the wolverine in the background looks really cool um and my last book i picked up nothing big it's just an amazing cover this is miss marvel uh number 27 greg horn cover and this thing is pristine you guys it is in mint condition the white is white nothing wrong with this book and um that's about it, guys. That's all I got for you guys this week. So I uh, hope you guys liked it. Um, hopefully, I'll be picking up some more books this weekend. Uh, if so, I'll be putting some more stuff. I, I really apologize for not putting up more videos, you guys. I just, I've been really, really busy with work and stuff and family stuff. So uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get some more hauls and I'll put some more stuff up. And, uh, you know, check out my boy, the Doom 143, Soul Comics, and Oblivion. Uh, great channels, you guys, and great people, like always. You guys have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day and take care.